how to use the remote control for your Gasco Fire. The thermostatic remote control can be used to operate a range of functions, from basic operations to programming features. This video will show you how to access these functions. It should be watched and used in conjunction with the full installation and user manual, which you can download from the technical area of the Gasco website. Your remote control has been factory set to communicate with your fire only. Therefore, your fire will not respond to any other remote control, even one that is for an identical model. If you need to replace your remote control at any time, you will need to pair your new handset with your fire. To do this, please refer to the instruction manual. Your remote control needs one high-quality 9-voltage alkaline battery to operate. Rechargeable batteries are not suitable. To begin, this video will show you how to operate the basic functions of your fire via the remote control. These functions can also be achieved with a touchpad, and we will cover how to use this at the end of the video. Standby When in standby, only the pilot is lit. Varying flame heights You can adjust the flame height of your fire exactly to your specification, as it is infinitely adjustable anywhere between low and high using the manual mode on your remote control. There are three buttons on your remote control, a large button on the left with the word off at the bottom and set on top. There are also two buttons located next to each other vertically and referred to in your manual as up and down. You will also see a symbol on the top right of your screen to indicate that your remote control is communicating with your fire. This accompanies a beep that is emitted every time you issue a command. To begin, turn on your fire, press the OFF and UP buttons simultaneously and hold them down briefly. You will hear several short beeps while your pilot ignites. Once the pilot is lit, the flame height will increase to the maximum setting. This may take up to 30 seconds to complete. Please note that it will take up to 45 minutes for the flames of your fire to reach their optimum visual effect. Your remote control handset will automatically be placed in manual mode as indicated by the abbreviation MAN now visible on the screen. To reduce the flame height, press and hold the down button until you have the level you require, then release it. Similarly, to increase the flame height, press and hold the up button until you have reached your desired setting. If at any point your fire extinguishes, it is important to wait at least 3 minutes before you turn your appliance on again. To switch your fire off, press and hold the OFF button at any stage. You are now able to use the basic functions of your fire using your remote control. However, there are additional programming features also available to you. Before you start to use any of the program functions, your appliance must be on and you will need to have also set the time on your remote control. To set the time, press the up and down buttons simultaneously. The display will begin to flash. You will then be able to use the up button to change the hour and the down button to alter the minutes. When you have set the correct time, press the off button to return to manual mode. If you wish to change the unit of temperature, press and hold the off and down arrows simultaneously until the display changes from Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. It is important to note that this will also change the clock between 12 and 24 hour displays. Celsius is linked to a 24 hour clock display, whilst Fahrenheit is linked to the 12 hour display. You can now begin to use the programmable features. Using the thermostatic mode on your remote control. When your appliance is set to operate in this mode, the flame height will alter automatically in order to achieve and maintain the temperature that you specify. The current room temperature will be displayed at the top of your remote control screen, but to set the thermostat temperature level, press the SET button until you see the word TEMP appear with a sun symbol. Then hold the SET button down until the temperature displayed at the top of the screen begins to flash. When this happens, release the SET button. While the temperature is flashing, increase or decrease it to your desired level using the up and down buttons as shown. When you have reached the level you want, simply wait for the number to stop flashing. 
the word temp and the sun symbol will remain on the screen to indicate that your remote control is in thermostatic temperature mode. Your appliance will stay in this mode regardless of the time of day and the flame height will alter in order to achieve and maintain your desired room temperature. To switch this mode off, press the set button three times to return to manual mode. How to use the timer mode on your remote control It is also possible to program your remote control to operate up to two thermostatic periods every 24 hours. The two periods are referred to as P1 and P2 and can be programmed to operate at any time of the day or night. To select the temperature for the first time period, press the set button until you see the abbreviation temp appear with a sun symbol. Press and hold the set button until the temperature displayed at the top of the screen begins to flash. When this happens, release the set button. While the temperature is flashing, increase or decrease it to your desired level using the up and down buttons as shown. To select the temperature for the second time period, press the set button. Again, your screen will change to display a crescent moon symbol next to the abbreviation temp. As before, press and hold the set button until the temperature displayed at the top of the screen flashes. Release the set button and select your desired temperature. If, however, you would prefer to only use the first time period, you should select the zero temperature setting here. This is represented by two dashes. To select this, reduce the temperature using the down button while the display is flashing until the two dashes appear. You now need to select the start and end times for the two periods. Press the set button until you see the word timer on the right. Then press and hold the set button until your screen displays P1 with a sun symbol and the time displayed is flashing. You are now able to set the time for the start of the first period using the up and down buttons. You will notice that in timer mode, when using the down button, the minutes will increase in 10 minute increments. To set the time for the end of the first period, press set again. The display will show P1 accompanied by a crescent moon symbol. While the display is flashing, select the time you would like as before. If you would like a second time period to be programmed, press set again. The screen will show P2 accompanied by a sun symbol. While the time displayed is flashing, use the up and down buttons again to select the start time of the second period. Press the set button once more. The display will show P2 accompanied by a crescent moon symbol. As before, use the up and down buttons to select the time you would like the second period to finish. When you have selected the times you would like, simply wait for the display to stop flashing. You will see the word timer on the screen to indicate that your fire is now operating in timer mode. To switch timer mode off, press the set button to return to manual mode or off to switch your appliance off. How to use the touchpad for your Gasco fire. Your fire's basic functions can also be controlled with your touchpad. You will find this located on a wall plate. To operate your fire, press the on off button once. You will hear a series of beeps to confirm that your command has been received. Your fire will begin by lighting the pilot. When the pilot is lit, the flame height will increase to the maximum setting. This may take up to 30 seconds. Please note that it will take up to 45 minutes for the flames of your fire to reach their optimum visual effect. If the pilot fails to ignite, wait 30 seconds and then try switching your fire on again. From here, use the down button to decrease the flame gradually from your fire's maximum setting to standby when only the pilot is lit. Similarly, press and hold the up button to increase the flame height gently. Release either button when your desired flame height has been reached. When you are ready to switch your fire off, press the on-off button at any stage. It is important to note that if your fire goes out while you are using it, you should wait 3 minutes before attempting to relight it. You can now operate all the functions of your fire using your remote control as well as the basic functions using the touchpad.